Hi, I'm Beryl and we're back with another Summer Foods episode, just trying to squeeze it in before the Northern Hemisphere heads into fall, which I'm very excited about. I'm not a summer person, I'm a sweaty person. So winter is my jam. The artist today, you might remember Halima Washington Dixon. She's a fabulous still life painter. She's originally from the US, but currently living in England. She's the one who made me love still lifes, so what can I say? But I also felt like the vibe is very summery. So with that, we've got three dishes and I'm hungry, so we're gonna start immediately. My name is Christina and I live in Michigan in the United States of America. And on a hot summer's day, I love to eat a chicken salad sandwich. But not any chicken salad sandwich, it has to be a chicken cherry salad sandwich. A chicken cherry salad sandwich is savory and tart and it's mixed with dried cherries and it has some celery and some pecans and you put it between two pieces of your favorite bread. This is a perfect summer dish because it's something that you can whip up without having to cook very much. You could use leftover chicken in the fridge, throw it all together, and you would want to chill it for 30 minutes or so so you can bring out all the flavors. This is specific to Michigan because we use Michigan cherries. In my opinion, I think Michigan cherries just taste better than other cherries. I just, it's hard to explain. They just taste better. Michigan is actually, you know, the cherry capital of the world, Traverse City. My mom used to actually make this when we would go out on picnics and it was just like something she could easily like whip together and we would go and it was just, it would, it would be so much fun. I personally think you should try this if you love chicken salad sandwiches and you like to try something new and you love cherries, it's perfect. It's so good. You have to try it. Okay, we've got my cherry chicken salad sandwich. I've never had dried cherries in chicken salad. I've had cranberries, kind of similar. Whoa, not that similar. Have I ever even had a dried cherry before? That's good. The cherry is interesting because cranberries are like a little bit sour, but the dried cherry is more sweet. And it's actually like, wow, it's very pleasant with the chicken. I love a good sandwich. Fun fact, my very first YouTube video was sandwiches around the world. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That started this whole thing and now here I am. I also love that this was like a picnic food. I don't really ever go on picnics because I feel like I'm just, like I like the idea of them, but I'm so lazy to actually like drag all the picnic stuff out and then you have to drag it back and by then, I don't know. I did not know that Traverse City, Michigan was like the home of cherries. That's definitely not something I knew. And I don't think that these cherries are from Michigan. They're just from Trader Joe's, but they still taste really good. I'm not so sure that I would know the difference though between like two different types of cherries, but maybe. I like this recipe because it's something that I'm familiar with, but there's this fun added twist of the cherries. And one thing that I would say that I did add to this is I like adding a little bit of rice vinegar when I make a chicken salad or even an egg salad. I find that the vinegar kind of brightens everything in a really nice way. That's just a personal thing. Uh, this recipe, 10 out of 10, loved it, loved it. Hello guys, my name's Eli. I'm a YouTuber from Russia. I travel across my big country, but today I'm in my kitchen in Moscow and I've decided to tell you about one of my most favorite traditional Russian dishes for hot summer days. First of all, don't believe this stereotype that Russia is this cold, unwelcoming country where there is only snow and ice. 
Well, of course, our winters can get pretty cold with minus 30 or minus 40 Celsius, but summers are very warm as well. So it's the perfect day for Akroshka. It's a cold soup that Russians only eat in summer. Akroshka is a bit salty, very savory, it's not sweet, it consists of a lot of vegetables and actually it doesn't have a strict recipe because usually this dish is homemade and we make it out of everything that was left in the fridge and then make a salad and out of this salad we make a soup. For example, you can take sour cream and mix it with water and then you just mix your salad in that liquid and you get a soup. I ate akroshka since my childhood. My mom used to make this huge ball of akroshka, cut so many vegetables in it, make a soup and put in the fridge for several days. It can be in the fridge for three or even four days and nothing will happen. So this is something that Russians would have in summer in their fridge all the time. So try to make it at home and let us know in the comments what you think about the taste. Na zdarovye. This is a dish that is honestly close to my heart. When I lived in Russia, I absolutely adored it. I think that not many people know about how amazing Russian cuisine can be. So I was very excited that Ellie submitted this one. And fun fact, I met Ellie through Nikki, who you might remember as like my favorite Russian TikToker who did the Russian grocery store video. So the internet is a big happy little family if you're in the right part of it. Otherwise it's terrible. <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, don't be weirded out by the idea of like watered down sour cream as the broth because it is so good. Like it is so good. And when you keep it in the refrigerator overnight, like everything is just cold. And there's something really nice about just a cold soup. And I feel like gazpacho gets all of, you know, the acclaim for being a great cold soup, but akroshka really should be up in that top tier. Because Ellie's right, like it's whatever's in your refrigerator. But I do feel like you have to have dill in it. And ham. It's so good. If you do want to try to make this, which I recommend you try to make it because it's delicious, make the salad and make the broth separate and keep them both in the refrigerator because if you want to have the salad just like as a salad, maybe on a piece of toast, you could. Or you could add the broth and then have them together. But that way, you know, you it doesn't get like too, too soggy by sitting in the broth for too long. Ellie has a really fabulous YouTube channel that I'm gonna leave a link to in the description so you can check out her stuff. If you have any curiosity about Russia, she's an amazing resource and she's super cool. So, <laughs> hi Ellie. Hi, I'm Ramya. I'm from Hyderabad, India. One of my favorite dishes to eat during summer is Amras Puri. Amras is nothing but a mango puree and we serve it alongside puri which is a deep fried dough. We tend to make it out of whole wheat flour, carom seeds and spices and fry it till it looks like a fluffy cushion. So growing up my mom used to make it and I never used to like it because it's basically baby food. But once I started making it, I started liking it even more. And the only reason I look forward to summers is because of this one dish. I am not a big fan of summers and this dish makes it a hundred times better. And I just think everybody should have it at least once because it's Indian food. Come on, who does not like Indian food? I have made puris twice in my life and both times were on camera. And surprisingly, I did better the first time than this time. Come on, puff! Uh, ah, no! <laughs> puff, 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 pu
Here's the last one. Maybe like a little brown, but like, this is, this is definitely better. This guy got like a, a half. I have never had this dish before, and it's ironic to me that a hot summer's day dish requires deep frying because I'm sweaty. <laughs> Mangoes, man. This would have been perfect for the mango episode, huh? But we got it for this one. I, lo I love it. Like, I've never thought to dip bread into mango pulp. Like, nothing about this is bizarre, but at the same time, nothing about this is anything that I would have ever thought to do. Good. This dish definitely feels like a summer dish, minus the aforementioned deep frying, just because, like, it's very fresh tasting like the mango is very fresh and even though the bread is deep fried puris are not as heavy as like an american funnel cake of deep fried bread mm. the taste of this dish plays with a lot of different flavors and textures and so it's very like exciting to eat i don't know it is it just it's exciting to eat <laughs> i feel like maybe we should do fall. What are some dishes that you're looking forward to having in the fall season? Like, you know, September, October, November. That's kind of what I'm thinking of as the fall. Let me know and I will look through the comments and we'll get going on that video. So until then, I hope that you try some of these and if you do, let us know, let me know, and I will see you all in my next video.